Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about California and Newsom and his politically difficult decision as far as who to appoint to Feinstein's vacancy. I said I was interested in this a few days ago because it, uh, it would show how good he was at political decisions, the kind that would have to be made on the national stage where he wants to go. Because he had talked himself into a corner on this one. He had made a number of statements about who he would appoint. And given uh, the statements, he wasn't left with options that people were cheering for. Because he said he would appoint a black woman at one point in time. Pretty much everybody was like, well, that's Barbara Lee. And then he said he would appoint somebody who wasn't running. And she was. And that put him in a very difficult position. You also had a whole bunch of people that wanted various other candidates who were already vying for that seat to be appointed to it. He didn't want to do that because it would give the incumbent an unfair advantage in the election. So, who did he choose? LaFonza Butler. Now, if you are not super active in union circles or maybe educational circles as well in California or really active in the fight for reproductive rights, you probably have no idea who she is. It's smart. Politically, it's smart on two levels. One, all of the different camps that had their favorite candidate, none of them are happy but none of them are alienated. That was a good move politically. The other thing at play, and the thing that makes this a really smart move politically, is that it allows Newsom to uh, kind of just get right past a news story that he probably doesn't want to deal with. Newsom just vetoed a union bill. He just vetoed a bill that would help workers who were on strike. Now is not the time to be opposed to organized labor. That's, that's not going to go well moving to the national scene. So him being stuck with that image based off of that last veto, that, that's not good for him. If you appoint somebody who's a union leader, it allows that story to be replaced, moving the story along. This is something that is oftentimes hard for state politicians to get used to on the national scene. Because basically, when you're talking about something like this politically, the smart move is to do something in the same category that changes the story. All of a sudden, Newsom goes from the guy who vetoed this bill to the person who appointed a union leader to the Senate. Politically, it's smart. Now, I'm not talking about anything other than the politics right now. Uh, obviously, people are going to want to know about her. She um, has a lot of experience when it comes to the university system and a lot of experience when it comes to unions and reproductive rights. I know you're waiting for the list of offices that she's held, like elected positions. I don't think she's held one. It's a smart move. This isn't somebody that has a whole lot of a whole lot of ties to the different political camps. So appointing her isn't going to alienate anybody. Politically, yeah, th this is the type of deal making and maneuvering somebody has to have if they want to be on the uh, if they want to be on the national stage and. He demonstrated that he has it. Um, now, for those who are wondering, because I'm sure people are going to wonder if he kept his promises, yes, 
Lafonza is black. So he kept them. Black woman, not actively running for the seat. Uh, and he managed to change the story. I mean, yeah. Now, as soon as this news broke, I got a question from a friend. And just in case anybody else is wondering this. Uh, union thug, that term, that's not, a, that's not an insult. That's not an insult. Um, for white people who are active with unions, maybe not a term to use uh, for black union leaders. It, it may not carry the same connotation to them. Um, so, yeah, that, that term is actually a compliment when coming from union people. Um, so that, that wasn't an insult. So if you see that, it, it doesn't mean what that term normally means. It, it's, it's a stamp of approval, not an insult. Just throwing that out there because it apparently happened within minutes of the news breaking. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.